So this episode is part two of my How to Paint series. If you haven't seen the first one, stop now and go watch the first one. It's just five minutes long. It shows you how to mix a color wheel and talks about what paint is. This one, we're going to cover some more advanced painting concepts. And to start with, let's look at some terms so that you understand what I'm talking about when I'm talking about what I'm talking about. Okay, the first term we're going to learn is hue. What is a hue? Hue is a green, blue, orange, yellow, violet, etc. When people say, what color is that? Generally, what they're really asking is, what hue is that? Once you identify the hue, you want to know the hue's color temperature. Is it warm or is it cool? And there's a spectrum in between these. Second thing we're going to learn is value. We can change a hue by changing its value. There's three different ways we can change a value. We can add white, gray, black. When you add white, you're tinting a color. When you add gray, you're adding tone. And when you add black, you're adding shade. And the third dimension of color space is intensity or chromaticity or chroma. And that is the level of intensity of a color, how far it moves out from the core, which is neutral colors, all the way to the outside, which is its most super intense, pure pigments. So on today's episode, what I want to talk about is value and changing the value of your color. So let's start by creating a rectangle on a piece of paper. Let's divide it into three columns and then we'll divide that into half and then into quarters, three columns, four rows. And then on the top here, let's write shade, in the middle tone, and then tint, okay? And let's put it at the very bottom. Let's write black, gray, and then white. And we are going to mix the colors that fit this diagram. Okay, so let's start out by painting the yellow all the way across. If you're using a really dark pencil, really heavy pencil or charcoal, you'll notice that your paintbrush is gonna pick up a little bit of that pigment. Okay, so let's, the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna add a little tiny bit of white. Now, again, just like in the color wheel, we're putting a tiny amount of white and mix that into some yellow and then paint that into that square. Notice how even just that slight subtle amount of white mixed into the yellow changes the opacity of the color, right? We see less of the paper. It actually can be a little bit easier to paint with, but even there, we've dulled the color down ever so slightly. So we'll never be able to get back to that intense yellow unless we wash our brush and go right back to that tube of yellow paint. Now let's add a little bit more white into our mix. Okay, so add some more white. And then lastly, let's add much more white so that we have a lot of white and less yellow. You could of course continue this all the way down until you get to pure white without any yellow whatsoever on your paintbrush, but as long as you understand what we're doing, that's good enough. Often beginning painters, when they're struggling to mix a color that they painted earlier on in a painting, it's because they still have a little bit of white or gray or black on their paintbrush and it's preventing that color from achieving its full intensity. So now we're going to mix some tone, okay, which means we're going to add a little bit of black to our mixture. Okay, so add a little bit of black into the white to create a gray and then we're going to add that to the yellow. Okay, and look how now it's dulled and gone. it's gone towards black. And then we're going to try that again. We'll make it slightly darker. So put a little bit more black and white. Don't forget the white. We're mixing gray, of course. And then we'll do one more. So we're adding even more gray to this mixture. 
Okay, and then in the last column, what I want to do is work on shading. Okay, now before we do anything else, clean your brush. I don't want to have any white whatsoever on this brush. It's important. Now, I want to add a little bit of black, and we're going to mix that into the yellow. And now let's paint that. Now, you should be able to see the difference now between the yellow that has black in it, the yellow that has gray in it, and the yellow that has a little bit of white in it. They should all be slightly different. Often when people think about uh, darkening a color, they immediately just go to black. But you can see that there's a difference between adding black and adding gray to a color. Now let's mix a little bit more black into our yellow shade. And then add a little bit more. And again, notice how you don't need to put a lot of paint on your paintbrush for it to get dark really quickly. Okay. So now we've mixed this yellow, we've done tint, tone, and shade. I would encourage you to do the same thing with the red, the same thing with the blue. By doing all of those, you're going to understand how to change the value of your colors. I know this is tedious, I know it's not super exciting to do a chart like this, but if you get it, I guarantee you, you're going to be miles ahead of somebody who just starts painting, because you're going to know the basics of color theory. I promise you, you're getting better. We'll see you next week.